What's up basketball fans? Kita balik lagi ke Travel for Basketball. Udah lama ya kita nggak kita Travel for Basketball. Tapi sekarang ini masih pagi di Vegas. Good morning. Kalian bisa lihat di belakang gue banyak kelihatan ya. <laughs> Vegas masih tenang sekali. Belum ramai seperti biasanya. Dan hari ini of course exclusive content kita akan ngeliput semifinals dari NBA in season tournament dan of course kita crossing my fingers semoga kita bisa ketemu Mas Joyo dan ngobrol-ngobrol dikit. Uh, sekarang ini gue masih mau menuju ngambil akreditasi gue karena gue belum ambil kemarin ini karena kita baru nyampe malam banget and of course setelah itu breakfast and after that, right away kita akan ke T-Mobile Arena mainnya di T-Mobile Arena dan um, ya yeah, mainnya siang sih karena ada dua game ya. ini pertama kali sih nonton NBA real NBA game <laughs> terus nontonnya dua game uh, selang kalau salah empat jam sih so I'm very excited sih untuk ngeliput NBA season tournament ini baru banget uh, gue juga penasaran banget kalau salah apa warna merah dan biru mungkin itu warnanya NBA kali ya so tanpa panjang lebar thank you so much guys for always supporting my channel seperti biasa jangan lupa untuk like jangan lupa untuk comment and I will see you guys when we get to the court si festivities ya di sini nih ntar akan ada konser sih setahu gue untuk di depannya stadion T-Mobile and of course ini ada tempat lu bisa nembak-nembak juga ini festivities sih banyak banget sih untuk NBA in season tournament ini ada pialanya juga dan ini udah ada influencer semua sih ada T-Jazz di sana lalu juga ada Jester yang lagi nyobain di studio TNT <laughs> ngakak banget sih ini sih so this is exclusive guys from the semifinals on the in season tournament Okay, go. Okay. We are here court side with my boy Marquis Bolin. Marquis, yes, how you doing, man? Doing good, bro. How you doing? I'm good, man. Happy to see you here, man. Yeah, bro. I'm happy to be here, bro. First, first time in-season tournament, so it's a big deal. But yeah, I'm happy to be here. How is it like, man, to be part of the in-season tournament? Oh, it's amazing, bro. Yeah. You know, we won. We won undefeated in group play. Um, got out here to Vegas a couple days ago. Got a tough game against Indiana, but now it's exciting, bro. Especially for the first one ever in Vegas. So it's gonna be a good time. What do you think is the biggest difference, though, for your stint with the Bucks this season and before? Um, just like opportunity. I feel like. Um, You know, last year I played well, but it wasn't really too much opportunity for me. So this year I feel like it's way more opportunity. Uh, as long as I stay ready and do what I'm supposed to, uh, I'll be just fine. Man, how yeah. is it like, man, to be practicing every day with Giannis and Dane? How is it like, man? Uh, it's fun. It's yeah. fun. I mean, it's just a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? You got two Hall of Famers in them. And then, you know, Brooke Lopez, Bobby Portis, uh, Chris Middleton. It's a lot of events that I can learn from on this team. So uh, I'm just excited for this whole year, this whole learning process. Hey, Lava is next to Chris Middleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you talk yeah. to him a lot? Yeah, yeah, that's somebody I talk to a lot. Yeah, him, him Dane, Brooke, yeah. uh, really all the guys. But yeah, him and Bobby probably the most. And you've been killing it actually with the Wisconsin Hurt, man. You got yeah. like a 19th inning game. Yeah. So is your confident level right now at the highest? Yeah, and I feel good, bro. Yeah. That's, that's what the G League is for, just to, you know, gain confidence, uh, continue to get reps yeah. when I'm not playing here. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good tool to use, so I feel good right now. I just gotta ask you, bro. Did you get the 100th grand, too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully, we get much more than that, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to win this thing, so, know, yeah, hopefully, we get much more, but, yeah, now, it's gonna be a fun weekend. <laughs> I know. Fun weekend. But how you been, man? We miss you, man, in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, no, I miss y'all, too, man. I miss y'all, too. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back out there this summer even though you know it's not a lot of events but uh yeah and i've been good man i've been good just working staying healthy uh just trying to make indonesia proud i know man we're very proud and we are very happy man you know yeah. you're getting minutes you know you're getting we playing in the nba right now we are very happy and yeah. keith last question man what do you want to say man to the indonesian fans um just thank you for the support you know samanga let's go <laughs> uh You know, we need your support for this end season tournament. So, uh, you know, just thank you. Just keep keep supporting us. Did you get anything for Yanni's birthday? <laughs> oh, no. Nah, nah. I don't know what I could get him. He probably got everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, man. Thank Good to you, see bro. you as always, yes, man. Sir. Appreciate you, you man. Too. Thank you, bro. Hey, Yanis warming up. On to semi finals. End season tournament. 
Keren nih backgroundnya And sebelahnya udah ada idola kita jelas Idola kita Tanasis Pemanasan juga di sini. Exclusive content from Las Vegas. The rich get richer. Kata ya Anis ngakak sih. Bawa kape tahir ni senaka. Here we got Coach Little Shooter. Absolutely. How you doing? Man. Doing, doing good, coach? man. I just want to say thank you so much for helping our ladies, our national team, Absolutely. winning the gold medal. Absolutely. Just how was your experience though in Indonesia? Man, it was a great experience. You know, it was a chance of a lifetime. I love the food. Um, I had a great time. I look forward to going back. You know, it was a place that, I'm going to be honest, like, yeah. I didn't know what was going on at first. But when I got there, I was like, man, this place is awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I definitely look forward to doing more with them. And, and shout out to my guy Chris as well that set up everything. Um, and shout out to the girls. They worked hard. It wasn't like uh, they, they were a bad team. They were a great team. It's just they needed some help with shooting. So shout out to them. And hopefully, maybe I can get a gold medal. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Chris, you gotta hook him up with yeah, the gold medal yeah. because of him we can shoot leaves yeah, there. You know, well, what were you focused on though, working with the, the girls? The main focus was just honestly uh, shooting in their system. They have a great coach, uh, they have a great GM, they have everybody around them doing great stuff, but they just want to help to learn how to shoot in different spots in their system. And that's what I came in to do. And the one thing I loved about training them, they did a good job at listening. Okay. They were hungry, they were hungry to train, so I look forward to going back. We need him for our men's national team. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> and coach, that's for our girls. But now we're in Vegas yep. for the in-season tournament. Yep. What do you think so far about the NBA in-season tournament? You I like it? I think it's smart. You know, if you notice, these guys are playing hard. They're diving on the ground. They're ready to fight. And this is all we look for is fans. Just give us 110. You know what I mean? So I think you know. Shout out to everybody in the NBA to set this up. This is amazing. What do you think about the court, though? The court is different. The court is different. <laughs> but the, guess what? At first, I wasn't a fan, but I realized it's making people. It's making people think out the box. It's making you. Look at something different, and that's the one thing the NBA does a good job of. They're always first to evolve. So hey, great job. Yes, sir. Yeah. Coach, thank you so much, and man, have a good time, man. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Stay locked in, guys. Ada Andrew Bogut sama Matt Harpring jersinya. Gila. <laughs> Selalu Vegas ya, dengan jersi-jersi unik Dua orang yang berjasa untuk basket Indonesia Ada Coach Phil Handy dan juga Little Shooter lagi ngobrol-ngobrol di situ. Dan belakangnya ada Rob Pelinka dan Darwin Ham Dia lagi ngobrol-ngobrol Mungkin lagi ngobrol yang kalian waktu itu ke Surabaya gimana nih <laughs> Pengalamannya Gila ya Small world ya, dua-duanya udah ke Surabaya loh Oke, ini kita ketemu, wah Robert Mori
Guys, itu adalah liputan gue dari hari pertama ataupun juga dari semifinal untuk NBA in season tournament tadi sayang game keduanya kurang seru karena Lakers sih jago banget sih nembak 3 poinnya, gokil si LeBron, AD juga dominan, Austin Reeves juga nembak 3 poinnya masuk terus Antorian Prince sih actually juga. Jadi uh, it was still a lot of fun though the first uh, day of my coverage untuk NBA in season tournament. Hopefully you guys lihat bisa lihat juga bagaimana uh, atmosfer juga keseruan dan ya sam behind the scenes yang menurut gue lumayan menarik sih hari ini nanti kita ketemu lagi untuk travel for basketball di final untuk NBA in season tournament semoga kita bisa dapat konten yang lebih bagus dan juga lebih banyak gue pengen banget lihat Lebron datang ke lapangan sih tapi gue nggak tahu dia datangnya berapa jam sebelum game bisa bisa empat jam kali sebelum game jadi agak susah untuk catch Lebron uh, nyampe di lapangan but I had so much fun tadi juga gue sempet uh, jalan di red carpet gue belum pernah sih itu pengalaman pertama juga sih <laughs> jalan di red carpet untuk melihat si NBA Cup nya man itu keren juga ternyata NBA Cup ya sih not bad at all NBA doing a lot of good things And of course tadi kita juga udah ketemu dengan Little Shooter And kita tadi interview juga dengan Marcus Bolden Shout out to him Just Jangan lupa guys keep supporting him And of course thank you so much kepada semua members gue Ya yes, silahkan support channel ini Really appreciate everybody Hopefully you guys enjoy it uh, Ya yeah, semoga nanti pas lagi final juga durasinya bisa panjang ya guys <laughs> So itu aja sih dari gue Now time for me to go home uh, Besok gue ada interview sih dengan Carlos Boozer sama Lemarcus Aldridge Tapi I doubt it sih bisa di vlog sih. I don't think bisa di vlog karena mereka kayak ada station stationnya gitu loh. Jadi uh, setiap media hanya dapat 15 menit. Uh, sedangkan gue harus bertugas bikin konten untuk NBA Indonesia. Jadi jangan expect ada eksklusif interview <laughs> dengan dua orang itu. Saya mau sih, gue pengen banget nanyain Carlos Boozer juga tentang Marcus Bolden. Coba mungkin di lain kesempatan. Siapa tahu bisa ketemu di lapangan. You just never know. Kita nanti lihat aja ya guys. So, kalau gitu guys, gue langsung pulang. Harus ngedit video. Harus ngedit juga untuk NBA Indonesia. And yeah, once again, thank you so much guys for watching. And I will see you guys again very soon. Peace out everybody.